In 2017, I made this dumb sketch called Protein Shake, and the whole joke was, uh-oh, he's adding too much protein, <laughs> stinky. <laughs> as far as my sketches go, it's pretty mid. Uh, you might even call it cute, which is like the meanest thing you can call someone's sketch. Oh, that's cute, you know? But for whatever reason, they love it on TikTok. I mean, they eat it up. Reuploads of the video have gotten millions and millions of views. I tallied the view counts of every copy I could find across TikTok, Reels, and YouTube, and the grand total comes to 62.8 million views. To put it another way, if I got that many views on my YouTube channel, that would equate to roughly 105,000. It's fine. I'm fine. The stupid video has been posted to TikTok so many times that there's a very good chance it'll get reacted to by Jason Derulo. Also, I'm very sorry if this is how you find out that Jason Derulo is now a professional freebooter. This is not a joke. All he does on his YouTube channel is like make a face at other people's TikToks while blasting his own music over it. Hell, most of the time he doesn't even show up. It's just someone else's TikTok with his music playing over it. I may have left a comment on some of them, or 20. But here's where it gets kooky. As I was editing this video, I noticed something strange. And at first I thought, no, there's no way. So I took some of his videos and played them side by side and confirmed that yes, Jason Derulo 100% reuses his own footage across multiple videos. <laughs> How do you make reacting, which is easily the laziest subgenre of YouTube, even lazier? Some poor editor is just copying and pasting Jason Derulo's footage across multiple videos. And shout out to Twitter user Epic Strumfail for telling me about Mr. Derulo in the first place. I'm sorry, what, what were we talking about? Right, the thing. Okay, so my video's been viewed tens of millions of times. I'm not getting any of the exposure or, more importantly, the revenue. What do I do? I have no idea. So I reached out to some of my peers who've also had their stuff stolen and gone viral elsewhere. Here's what they had to say. Could you tell us a bit more about this app? that you caught wind of putting your videos behind a paywall? It's a hot trending app with over 100,000 downloads. <laughs> All the screenshots promoting the app are just screenshots of my video. And That's so I'm like- That's so messed up. So it's not a game. It's just no. playing your videos. My video takes up half the screen <laughs> and then no. an ad takes up the other half of the screen. And then it comes up with a pop-up saying, now you've unlocked a special video and it's clearly a thumbnail for my channel but to unlock it you have to watch a 30 second unskippable ad which will then play full screen i'll let you take it away but um i would love to hear what's happening to your your stuff on TikTok. there's this page that popped up they started off as just like the reddit am i like am i an asshole things mm -hmm. and with like the text to speech with subway surfer or whatever game it is in the background minecraft parkour it's always that always then he starts posting my stuff and he goes from having like 1000 views to like 50,000 100,000 views in a video and eventually he starts like he puts my name in his bio he changes his bio to this is a solid jj fan page <laughs> <laughs> because he's uploading them every day. He's doing it right now, too. Yeah, I just checked my, my TikTok today. He's, oh. He started to tag me in it because I think he saw that I was making a stink about it. You said you had like four cartoons that kind of go in rotation on other sites. Yeah, yeah. It, it's pretty much happened anytime I've made a parody of anything. I, I know when one has been freebooted somewhere because I see it jump up like a thousand views or something abnormally. And I'm like, oh, that a million people saw that somewhere. It wasn't here, but they saw it somewhere. There's a very, very slight trickle down effect to you, to the main source. Yeah, it's enough to notice it, but not enough to like get paid, if that makes sense. It, it sure does. So they steal your stuff, but don't you get enough views on YouTube? Like, they're not hurting you. You're getting exposure from this, right? No, because if someone posts a video on TikTok, they pull the full video on there, you know, you see it on your phone. Sure, you know, you've seen the video. Maybe you'll look me up later. Why would you go rewatch the video? Exactly. You already saw it and you saw it in a way where they're going to, you know, re-upload them every day. If you're if you're an animator, you're getting out like 
one a week. That's if you're like really, really prolific. Grinding, yeah. These these like meme pages, you know, they can steal one every day. They'll dwarf you in output and you'll just, you, you can't really compete with that, you know? I have an email pulled up that I think sheds a light on some of these people at Freeboot Content. YouTube has a feature in their creator studio that you can go and see copyright matches, people yeah, who have yeah, re-uploaded yeah. your videos, and it, it may make it, make it very simple to file a takedown request, whether it be immediate or seven days. And I got an email immediately after taking down a couple from someone who had re-uploaded the content. It says, and I quote, you already got your views, F slur. Stop being greedy. We all gotta eat. Shut the f up. The, the dissonance of that. Like, I can't imagine reaching out to someone like, hey, you made money off something you made. Let me make money. What the f what? Are you aware that superstar artist Jason Derulo is now a freebooter on YouTube? What? It no. <laughs> you don't mean that. This, this is a classic. <laughs> Wise old ram. Yeah, okay, good. You found it. <laughs> it's just, it's nothing but a, it's just a, he's just standing there. <laughs> what is this? So here is our enemy. They're shameless, emotionless, faceless. Well, not always faceless. Sometimes they love showing their face. And it's now that I've realized there's really only one thing I can do. I have to remake my original protein shake video, but do so in such a way that makes it impossible for anyone to steal. And I think I nailed it. <clears throat> Here's how you can make the world's best protein shake. First, add a scoop of protein. Then pour a whole pre-made protein shake into the blender and add a scoop of protein. Whoa, this sure is a Jack's Films video. Next, take a banana, put it to the side, we don't need it, and add a scoop of protein. Now while you weren't looking, I actually pre-made some protein ice cubes. So we'll add those with a scoop of protein. Hey, if you're watching this on an account that isn't owned by Jax Films, call the police. Now if you spill any protein like I just did, do not throw it out. Get a hand vac, suck it up, and add it to the blender with a scoop of protein. Now it's time to blend. So add a scoop of protein and blend for just 10 short minutes. Finally, transfer the contents to your mini blender so you can take your shake on the go. And add a little emergency protein should you need it. This video's been approved by Jason Derulo. <laughs> Almost done. Oh, hell yeah. I have a problem. Now, this is cute and all, but I realize this is not a realistic solution to combat freebooting. Which is why I talked to one more person, Mikey Skates. Mikey Skates is a creator on TikTok, and while he doesn't have the largest following, his work was taken by a giant YouTuber. But don't worry, his story has a great ending. So I had no clue. I had no clue anything was going on until someone came and commented on my TikTok and let me know. When I put that video out, you know, it got, I think it's at like 6 million views. I had all kinds of pages reaching out, like Snapchat pages, like verified Snapchat pages being like, hey, do you mind if we feature this video? We'll give you full credit. Did Sniper Wolf or anyone from her team reach out to you asking for no. permission or like a nothing. fee or just even a shout out? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Not even like a... Hey, we featured you, you know, nothing. Do you not think that fair use protects her from featuring and using your work? No, I think, uh, I think fair use has for a long time been like a very gray area, but when it comes to like, sh she takes more of like the XQC route where it is just, you know, it's a watch party. It's not, you're not actually taking the content, you know, transforming it, making it funny. Like when someone like Sniper Wolf is coming in and, you know, you know they're playing their video for 30 million, 40 million people, mm -hmm. you know, they're like, why would I go and watch that TikTok and give this person support when I just saw it here? And I don't have to go watch it now. You're not gaining anything at all or, or even being credited. And it's, it just kind of sucks. You filed a um, copyright claim. Can you walk us through the steps you took um, specifically? Well, first, I'd never copyrighted anything in, uh, before, so I had to look up how to do it. And they were like, go into YouTube Studio, go to the copyright section, and submit uh, submit a new copyright. And it had the whole form where you, you put her link, you put my link to my original video, you fill out all the information, timestamp, owner of both videos, everything like that. And then at the very end, it gave me the option to strike the video immediately, 
or give them time to remove the video. And I sat with my girlfriend and I was like, which one should I do? My girlfriend was like, she's taking everyone's content. She's she's not learning anything. Just strike the video. And I was like, you know what? You're right. And I, and I chose the strike option and submitted it. I think it was nine days went by uh, with nothing. And then I got an email from YouTube saying, you know, we, we need more information. And it said in the email, we need things like the timestamp, the original video, stuff like that. And it was very confusing because I was like, I put all that in there. I, I don't understand. And then that day when they sent me that email, someone let me know your video was cut from from the video. Mikey Skates was at five minutes, 24 seconds on her video. Let's see if it's obvious that we can tell that they, they took out um, Mikey Skates' video. Cause I don't wanna see. <laughs> Yo, it's so obvious. Let's go. I really wanna make this clear. It's made so that only you, the creator of the video, the original video can file this claim, right? Yeah. Like this yeah. isn't something that can easily be abused by other people. No, I had to log into my account and I had to link my TikTok account. I had to link everything. It's not something that, that you could like just mass report. You, yeah, yeah, you yeah. have to actually go in and like fill out all of your information. You have to put your address, your phone number, your your account. You have to fill everything out. It's not like a anonymous report where you can be like, I'm in this video, this is mine. What steps should creators take if they were to find their work published elsewhere without their permission. I think I think if it's something that you're not okay with, I suggest filling out a form like a like a copyright submission because that gets their attention. I produce music and there's been people who have taken my instrumentals that I've made and have used them without my permission uh, because I used to sell them. You can submit a form to have it taken down like SoundCloud, Spotify, all that stuff. And it's the same with YouTube. If if you feel like you're being taken advantage of by a big creator, you're not just stuck. You can do something about it. And I feel like if more people do what I did, you know, there would actually be change. And all it takes is five minutes, fill out a form. So originally, I was going to end the video here with this David and Goliath story to inspire other creators who've had their work stolen. But then something pretty great happened more creators started sharing their stories of Sniper Wolf stealing their content. And after hearing about Mikey's victory, they too filed removal requests, just like he did. And the funny thing is, it worked. We noticed that a few videos had gotten shorter after the clips were removed. 12 seconds disappeared from her video. Really? That used to be, I think, over eight minutes long. Compare 758 to, it was a, it's hard to see, but it was originally eight minutes, 10 seconds. And we could even pinpoint exactly where those clips got removed. The cut was at 715? I don't like it either. It's an arrow. It should be pointing the other way. The train station. <laughs> In fact, she ended up removing an entire video of hers because enough creators came out and said, no, that's my work. And it may have something to do with the fact that she showed an entire TikTok without even reacting to it again. Yeah, it's not the first time she's done this. My point is, this is no longer some theoretical movement. This is happening now. Content thieves like Sniper Wolf will have to rethink their entire strategy if the original creators keep calling them out and keep claiming their original content. And there's another avenue creators can take. During a live stream, someone contacted me who said they claim revenue from her videos for their clients. So naturally, I had to learn more. We work with creators in a multitude of different ways. Some creators, uh, if it's just a clip that they want to sell, will buy the rights to the clip that way. Other times, we'll do an entire, you know, basically their entire catalog. We'll go through all their clips, put it all together, and put that into the content ID system, which allows to automatically look for uh, re-uploads of the content, but also gives us the capacity to go ahead and manually claim, you know, different videos that we find our clients in. About, I guess it, it was a month ago now when we put in the first claim on specifically sniper wolves we came across one of the clips that we already had in our catalog and actually it was in it was in the thumbnail as well of of the video um and that was sort of the first claim that we put in on sniper wolves um i think we have three or four right now um 
potentially more. So your clients, they get like a percentage of uh, mm -hmm. revenue? From the point of the claim onwards, we do get a percentage. Usually it's split up across multiple claims. It's super dependent on the content creator, or how many clips are in the video and things of that nature. It's not crazy, you know, life-changing money. Um, but it does, I think, open up at least just sort of a side revenue stream, I like to think, uh, for creators. I think the key takeaway is this. We can help inform creators on when and where their stuff is stolen. And then those creators can decide how they want to proceed. That's the world I'd like to live in, where creators get the credit they deserve. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go Jason some Derulos. Look me in the eye, you know that we're what I've been trying to tell. Look me in the eye, you know that we're what I've been Look me in the eye, look me in the, look me in the eye, you know that we're what I've been trying to tell. Last question, do I have permission to feature your works in this video when applicable? Yes, you do, 100%. Do you see how easy that was? I want to thank this video's sponsor, BetterHelp. Therapy should be accessible to everyone, and finding the right therapist shouldn't be hard. With BetterHelp, it's not. By filling out a few questions, BetterHelp can match you to a professional therapist online in as little as a few days. Your sessions can be via phone call, video call, or chat. I've done therapy over the phone before, and it really helps with that whole intimidation factor. Not having to drive to an office and being able to pace around while I talk was so freeing. Damn, BetterHelp can riz all the skibbity toilets in Ohio. If you go to betterhelp.com slash jack, link below, not only do you help support the channel, you also get 10% off your first month of BetterHelp. And if you don't fit with your therapist, which is common in therapy, you can easily switch to a new therapist at no additional cost. If you're struggling, consider online therapy with BetterHelp. Click the link below or just go to betterhelp.com slash jack.